Are you wondering what the molecular mass of copper 2 chloride is? We've come to the right place, my friend. Watch how quick and easy this is with the following table. Bam. So the first step is to write down the elements I see in the compound, right? So we see copper, Cu, and we see chlorine, Cl. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. At the bottom of copper, there is a 1. So that means there's one copper, chlorine there's a two. So the subscripts are what are gonna tell you the number of atoms. Next is the mass of the element, right? We go to the periodic table to find this. So copper here is going to be roughly 63.55, chlorine is 35.45. Those units can represent gram per mole or AMU depending upon if you're finding molar mass or molecular mass, all right? So let's write that down. So 63.55, 63.55, and this was then 32, uh, 35, excuse me, thinking of sulfur right now. 35.45. All right. Then to uh, find the total mass of the element, all we simply have to do is take the number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of that element. And this is 63.55 for uh, copper. And then for chlorine, you got to take two and multiply it by its weight. And that works out to be 70.90. And then to find the total mass of the compound, so simple now, just add these two values together. And it works out to be 134, 134.45. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in AMU or AKA atomic mass units. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I do hope this helped. And uh, if it did, like and subscribe. Give us a hand. All right, we appreciate it. it. allows us to produce more content for you. I'll see you in the next video. Be well.